game. It doesn't really feel like right now there's these final picks that can necessarily win you the game. Uh, most teams kind of know mm. most of the time what's coming, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not as sure as they are that first pick means like you're or automatically have an advantage. Okay. Yeah, I think there's still a lot of good benefits to second. Well, I think for, first pick is really good here in this specific matchup because of like battle man, so like, yeah. and they can't really b use a ban or they don't really want to use a ban because there's so many other things that they prefer not to go up against. Today, Mineski beat Complexity, and um, they beat Complexity against uh, Chen. But I see that we're not going to see Chen because I see a draft. That I see a Mirana first pick. That was Mineski picking it then because they yeah. banned Ayo. So yeah. Mineski took Liquid's picks. Okay. They're like, Mirana Naga, we can do that too. I thought I really I likes you, to play I Mirana. I told you, Parker, right? That's the dice. I told you, Parker, I told you they won't change anything. They're just gonna pick different heroes. Same bands, different picks. I mean, the reason why Naga is picked against uh, Venom because of the reset, and he's really strong early with, to set yeah. up the arrows with Mirana. He also so, makes she makes a, a good kind of five position in a way. Like we're seeing these five position players play these like mm, tankier fours. No, 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 no. For Mineski, it's different. Mineski, we'll have jabs. Mi Mineski or? plays Naga on position four. He okay. he might try to farm a radiance, or they will. Sometimes put him off lane on ice, depending on the game. Right. But I think overall, Jabs plays it more. They don't play it on position 5 like what Liquid did. They are probably going to pick Jakiro or Disruptor as a position 5 with this position 4 Naga. Get that big team 5 yeah. combo going. That's what I expect them to do. Yep. Alright, we'll see how Liquid respond to this one. Yeah, they're, they're taking the time. The Earth Spirit again. I think the Earth Spirit is pretty good against... Uh, uh, against Naga, because in team fights you can silence him and stop the reset. It's not like the go-to for Liquid though. It's they probably... did it. They did it before when they got the banner a spirit opening. They have yes. The second game. Oh, they won't do oh, it now. We'll see the G H Keeper of the Light for the first time this tournament. So okay, so why is the Kotal picked here? Maybe it's just a reaction for the Naga. Maybe they just have some idea about how they want to play. I mean, last game they suddenly picked the Naga Mirana out of nowhere, so as well as the Invoker. I think it's mainly because of the Naga. They're worried that it's a core Naga and they want a hero that can deal with Naga illusions or even pressure the lane. Because Koto, you can have like a very good dual lanes, like the one that they ban out. LC, LC Koto is really strong. One of the strongest lanes, uh, strongest dual lanes you can have with Koto. But maybe they are. Going to plan something like a, maybe a push strat because I've seen them do this Koto push strat with uh, like what Lycan or like they have Venom or Venom Koto, so you get agonims, you're going to have a timing to push. The Lone Druid's another hero Matu's played a lot of in those kind of strats. Yeah, you want frontline so that you can abuse the heal from Koto yep. Axe. Yeah, and in this matchup, uh, we always have to keep the Brood in mind. We have seen it banned out in the previous games, but so far it is still in the pool, and they ban out Legion Commander, oh, yeah. which is actually a really good hero against the Brood. Um, usually the team that is second pick in the first phase in this series, they will ban out the Brood, so, which is li no Liquid now. They are second okay. pick in, in, in oh, this. Oh, in the next phase, yeah. yeah. I feel like the Brood is going to be better in Liquid's side right now, given what they're looking to do versus Mineski, maybe. Want the brood? I mean, I guess brood with like a Naga okay. character. Yeah, brood is okay. okay. Brood is annoying. No one wants to fight brood. Yeah. So the second, yeah, uh, the second pick then. team in the second phase once again bans out the brood. Pay attention, guys. That's what they've been doing in the previous series. Don't yeah, snooze. no, that's what I, I said it. I said don't it. I said snooze, Liquid guys. have been banning brood. Or I said t they have been banning. Okay, sorry, Shiva. My bad. So don't worry. We got it covered. Ten seconds remaining. Which was why I brought it up as well. So, but Brood is out. Oh, it's bad. That's why I said oh. Brood is out. Pay attention with it. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> so we're seeing a disruptor instead. We saw a disruptor previous game from Neski as well. I actually thought it was a, uh, it was a pretty successful disruptor. It worked out okay. Yeah, it was okay. They lost because of other things, not because of disruptor's fault. And this game, they have a really good setup. Once again, like I said. When they pick Naga, it's going to be either a Disruptor or Jakiro. Pull up on a position 5, and Naga will be off lane or position 4. Dire team pick. Still some options so, open. I mean, it's, it still comes out, so it's going to be... I guess it's Kuroki, Kuro, Kotal. No, Kotal, you think? Yeah, no GH Kotal. 
No, oh, GH is going to pay us spirit. But what about okay. GH Cuddle, the signature hero? The, but that's us spirit. The GH God. Ten seconds remaining. I think he's going to pay us spirit. I mean, I, I, it would, I like, according to the to the rankings, it should be indeed. Seems to clone himself. Akuro Cuddle. <laughs> They have a very no, solid. Sakura. <laughs> Kuro needs to keep drafting and captaining, but. <laughs> I mean, they have a very solid like trio here. Yeah. Push out. Yeah. Team fight, catch. Everything is there for them. Lanes also pretty solid. Front lanes, yeah. Like, Coddle can go off lane. They can Earth Spirit roam around, help mid. And Matu can just be solo on the Veno yeah. in the safe lane, get left no, alone. You, you think he's seen. gonna be on a safe lane? He might be a top. He might yeah. be mid. <laughs> he might be off lane or mid. Like the the hero goes anywhere, yeah. depending on what the game needs. So, what does Mineski need? Um, they have team fight set up. They want maybe a push out hero. Oh, okay. Nyx is. This is going to be a position. I think it's going to be a. Actually, they might actually still think about swapping around. I think, but I think it's most likely position for Naga, and Ice is going to play the Nyx. Good scouting here for the disruptor. Help find the glimpse targets. Easily set things up as it's well. It's a Koto. Five seconds remaining. So right now they have like a lot of like disable mass disable mass stuns. They have a lot of like uh, ways of starting a fight, and Nyx is also a good hero to catch out the Venom as well. Like when he's like pressuring the lanes, hiding in the trees, Nyx is a good hero to scout him out. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna make it a bit more annoying for the Venom to push out lanes. I mean for Liquid right now, I think they. Uh, it seems like they. They want to have like a more group up five man push with the Veno to avoid get I think to avoid getting picked off by the Knicks. So that's what I think they're gonna look for. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Mm. What do you make of that? That this uh, is partially the lineup that Mineski had previous game. Yep, and it was a good lineup from Mineski. It, it definitely was. is something which, if you're worried about a Naga, Naga as a carry, it's gonna be great against that. Yeah, um, AM's really good against that. Theoretically, could be it's it's already it's good against Messi's draft, even if it is Naga support, and depending on what this fifth pick is going to be. I mean, they still have decent heroes like catching the AM. Uh, it's not like it's a free AM game, but it's a, it's definitely a good AM game. But they don't have much damage for the anti mage, which has to come from their last pick with the physical damage. Whether it's like the Bloodseeker, the Terra Blade type picks, they need something mm. with physical damage. Bloodseeker would be nice, but likely to be banned out by Liquid. I mean, in this corner last game as Mineski, they took out the, the Void. Uh, I mean, partially because back. Liquid had Invoker as well. Team Liquids, turn to we got the Terra Blade they removed. Yeah, I think <laughs> Just, uh, reflections. Yeah, reflections yeah. are really, really good against AM. As we saw previous game. And the last big Dragonite, so they got so some they, they still have like a push. Liner. They still have like a push going yeah, like 4-1, so four, four like 4 Protect 1. Off lane, liner. Veno. I wonder, if, does that put Matu on the anti-mage, I guess, since Miracle, Miracle often no, plays it? Uh, it actually, could be either way, but... Either way, but I think I would Ten actually put AM on remaining. Miracle. I think he, he's the guy that, the way they distribute yes. the heroes is like, he's always on the guy that farms the yeah. most. Yes, uh, that, at least that's normally their plan going in. Some yeah. games like the Lifestyle one we saw, it happens that Matu does end up getting more farm, but that's never yeah, like but maybe he's the not, plan. That's not part of the plan. He, he yes. was not supposed to be the... That's how the lanes kind yeah. of went, yeah. Well, it's okay, pretty, with you, but... pretty hard to to choose a hero right now here for Mineski. That the bird seeker's open, but it's not like great. It's okay. They need a hero that can fight. I think. Not not very sure what's best for Mushi here. They have to pick also a hero that yep. fits him. You've seen him play the Luna earlier. They did lose that game. No, that's Luna's a... not good here. That's very good. Here. How about the Sven? That's a hero that actually does pretty well against the AM in terms of the mm -hmm. burst physical damage. Yeah, but doesn't you don't want to fight against the Venom. That's the only thing. No. Yeah, but can work. They have to pick one evil. I don't see like any like clear good picks here for for them. Alchemist. It will be the alchemist. Select your heroes. You're quiet, Winter. Quiet, man. No, I mean like <laughs> after the alchemist pick, do you like it or not? Um, it's okay. Alchemist against AM matchup is uh, 
depending on if Alchemist can hit a timing, uh, Alchemist can definitely win against AM because you're going to farm faster than him. But if you don't use the timing and you don't hit the timing to siege and end the game or get Rex at least like 25, 30 minutes around, around that time, then the AM is going to overtake the game. So Alchemist is it's okay, but you have a time. You have All time right. limit. So you think Mineski can do it? But you, who do you think? One team name. I need to know if you think that Liquid is gonna I, win this I right now or not. I think Liquid is gonna win because of what happened last game. It's very hard to recover from that kind of loss. It's very okay, difficult. I agree. I think it's just it is a great anti mage game. The as when you said, the out can kind of beat AM to like the the key item timings. But yeah. Liquid's such a good team at stalling. They've got Coddle too, so you can buy time for the anti mage. I think Liquid will take this game in four. All right, let's find out what's gonna happen and if Liquid indeed can take the championship with the next game because. They could. This is game number four of the Grand Finals. Over to Capitalist and Blitz. We're heading to the final days of this patch. Who knows how much longer it will last, but it seems like this tournament started off with all aggression. Five-man lineups, Chen pushing, just taking over the game as soon as possible, trying to end it before the 40-minute marker. And it seems like our end of our tournament is going later and later, an Alchemist versus an Animage farm matchup, Blitz. Yes, an Alchemist versus AM, pretty iconic. Something I'm more surprised about is this Naga Siren all of a sudden coming back. <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly what I expected, but it does seem to be doing pretty good as a forfeit. Like, what are the downsides of support Naga Siren? Mm, she's not the best damage dealer. Okay. Net is, of course, a pretty good uh, spell in the early game, but it does become really different as the game goes later on. And something I also want to point out is the Dragon Knight for Mind Control. Ooh. That is really So we've got a Matu, uh, a Matu Venomancer still. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Yeah. Miracle AM. It's just a question of who's going where. And it looks like Dragon Knight's kind of set up for bottom lane. They're trying to scout out the lanes. Yeah. GH will successfully scout it out and should be able to roll away. Yeah. And he's going to get netted, but should still be fine. Glimpse, no way that's going to touch him, even if he did level it, which he doesn't. We'll you play, really don't we'll want to level that and not get a kill. Yeah. Oh, now he doesn't have Riptide for the harassment. Ooh, that does feel bad. Yeah. Although it's okay. Low mana cost, not a, the largest investment. It's not like Lich, you know, when you level Frost Blast. Yes. And you don't have Sacrifice, and all of a sudden you're telling yourself, why am I playing this game? Yep. <laughs> so, Mind Control Dragonite. Offlane Dragonite in general. Can we do this? Can we do... Is this where this hero goes now? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know either. Genuinely, there I'm is just as curious as you are. Dude, there's never been oh. a meta where side lane Dragonite was a thing. Cool, GH just drags everyone away for like a minute and a half and he TPs away. Alright, good job, GH. So, the Venomancer is here to put pressure on the Alchemist. Now, this, these laning adjustments, they're just a, a result of the Alchemist pickup, right? Yeah. The Dragonite wouldn't put enough pressure on the Alchemist. And this anti-mage really wants to be against this Nyx Assassin. Feels like this is the better matchup for him. Mind Control doesn't really care. He's got Dragon's Blood and that poor man shield. Doesn't really fear death too hard. Is He's going to get netted up. Even if the arrow follows up, doubt they kill him. He's got a lot of health. Yeah, and so Liquid, yeah, they read this pretty well. They got all the lane matchups that they wanted, in fact. So you like the anime? So... They want, Mineski want to move the Murata into the Animage lane, right? Yeah, but switching around is a little bit difficult as mid lane. We know how important it is to shut down an Alk early game. Venomancer, as demonstrated in the previous game, one of the best heroes at just straight up killing him. Yeah, he's so good versus any melee hero. And Alchemist is particularly squishy, so... Mineski have to find a way to be able to counter these constant rotations into the mid lane to keep the Alchemist down, while at the same time making sure they don't lose their side lanes and let the AM totally free farm, which is currently what's happening is he's going up against Ice Ice Ice, the Nyx Assassin. Burning him completely out of mana. And jabs, just being forced out a oh, little bit. Roll, jabs. He is the bigger man here. 
GH does not want to fight up against an Aga Siren with all that armor. Spray in mid, blast on top of Moon. They're getting a lot of damage here. It looks like they're just going to run him underneath this tier one tower. Kinetic field goes out, but it might not be enough. Go for the deny. He got it. Ninja Boogie manages to stop that one. Matumba Man even healing himself up for those crucial seconds. Be able to uh, make sure he stays alive. And we'll find a regen too, so why not? Doesn't need to go back to base. And meanwhile, in mid, he kicks him out, trying to get him under the blast. Going to whiff though, and the GHR spirit not going to be successful in that gank. Although it is interesting that Crow's the one playing the Keeper of the Light, considering how heralded his Coddle was during TI. Yeah. But he was practicing Earth Spirit, I think, during the offseason. Just spamming that hero. Mind Control is 11-2, and two, and the Barana looks pretty injured. Even though he won't be able... Wait. Can he pick up... Is he gonna go bottle in the side lane? Side chop? Uh, maybe. I'm I mean, not sure if you usually go for it as mid Dragonite, right? Because you have mana problems. What else could you do to solve that? Oh. oh, wow. What a switcheroo we're going to have here. Alchemist heads down to the Dragonite lane, which is what Maneski wanted all along. And we'll see Marana rotate. Oh, well, I don't know. He's taking neutrals right now and probably just run towards mid. The question for me is what what lane setup would you like as. Oh, a sent back. But what a kick down the cliff from GH. A sick play there. And Kuro with the blast. Getting another kill for Liquid. 2-0 lead for them as oh, GH. Sidesteps the arrow, but it looks like Mushi's still going to be able to get the kill. Yeah, he was trying to time that salve, but Mushi still gets the kill, like you said. And, and he had the, the orb of Adam, too. Yeah. If he doesn't have that, then he'll pop the salve yeah. under the tower. As jabs. Level 2, Earth Spirit, going to get the roll. Dude, this crowd's going crazy for reasons that I have no idea with. I mean, they showed Miracle for like one second and everyone goes insane. <laughs> Ninja Boogie trading hits with Kuro. He's trying to get himself denied and... Keeper of the Light, unable to do that. Yeah, and that's a pretty good kill for... for Moon as... In Snare, but uh, Mushi doesn't have a clear shot for the arrows, so Jab's just gonna take a bit of damage. Alchemist is gonna be spending jungle time already, it seems like. He tried to clear through that stack a little bit before he heads back down to bottom lane. Mind control, just farming up, and all three liquid cores doing quite well for themselves here early on. Mineski, I don't think they can really change the lanes. No. If so, they would have already done that, right? Yes. And Ninja Boogie going to get run into. It, it looks like they're just going to get picked up all the time. Ninja Boogie sends back GH, but it's already too late. The damage has been done. And Kuro. <laughs> he's is he trying saving to it for mind control? mind control? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's gonna Maybe saving it for GH. Oh, a net, but Mushi's really low, and he had to hit that arrow. Unable oh, to get it. Now he's going to be gailed up. Oh, no. There's no way Jabs can run down Matumba Man, so there is no turnaround here. Roll through by GH. Jabs not going to be hit by that one. Jeez, Mineski are just falling apart in this laning phase. Yeah. Roll not going to connect. Not a whole lot that they can do. As we are seeing the downside of the Naga. It kind of happened in the last game, too, if you remember. But mind control hit. This arrows. time we get the arrow. And Mushi is as well. Uh, but Jabs trying to get the kill on GH, but. He is able to get away, pop that healing cell. So another gank on mid. They're just feeding Matumba Man so many kills. And occasionally, every once in a while, we're going to check in on Miracle and Ice Ice Ice, which are constantly having their right-click battle. And AM has actually been surpassed by this Nyx Assassin. Surprisingly. Yeah, he's doing really well in CS, Ice 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 is. Yeah, really figured this would have been a free lane for this anti-mage, but... At top, Ice Ice now. Ice getting a little bit low. He's just running out of regen. Miracle always able to trade if hits more efficiently with three tangos as well as a ring of hell sitting there. Yeah, mind control popped the dragon form. Hitting this bottom tower. And I guess this is the upside of having a safe lane Dragon Knight. Something we almost never see. Have seen an off lane Dragon Knight from VP. When was that? Uh, that was... I can't remember. Maybe a TI or something. Uh, Mushi trying to get the arrow here. Miracle. They are going to be able to just burst him down. It looks like the blink was still on cooldown for another second. And they do manage to get that tower at bottom for Liquid. Yeah. This is the Liquid special, though. Is We have three cores. 
that can all scale. What are you going to do about it? Who are you going to choose to kill? Because the other two will prosper as a result. And that's exactly what's happening. They managed to grab that bottom tower. They're even making the invasion. Oh no, the blast comes in, doesn't actually take any of the CS, just weakens up the camp for oh. uh, Moon. GH, I think he snagged one of them before he rolls away. Yeah, And it's kind of interesting that they decided to take that bottom tower instead of Mind Control making the rotation in a mid. And I think the reason for that is they want to control this area up so that the Al can't just free farm his jungle. Yeah, the offlane jungles, right, are always the, the best place for alchemists to hang out. He's got an ancient camp there as well. Moon? Jesus, uh, it looks like Moon's just going to die here. Yep, he's going to go down and jabs. Ice 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 makes his first rotation, though. Does manage to get the counter kill onto the Keeper of the Light. If they could get GH as well, that'd be great. They do have Glimpse. He is going in deep here. He's out of mana. Should be a kill for Mineski. They've got net. He's got to roll up in a second, as well as a TP. The only mana for one of them. He could just TP out. Yeah, they no longer have... Uh, Disable, but instead he goes for the roll. To freedom. And now mid tower is going to die as well. So with the off lane tower gone, mid tower gone, we are rapidly losing a lot of control of our jungle for Mineski. And Alchemist needs a good 10 minutes to be able to work on those jungle creeps. Yeah, he's got phase boots, doesn't quite have the armlet yet. Gold 3k to the side of Liquid, and Alchemist lineups not used to being behind at all, but it's not as bad as it seems. The Disruptor's net worth is kind of weighing things down a little bit as Kuro being chased down. Stun's going to connect. This should be a kill. Easy kill there, but Ice 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 is right next to Motumba Man, so he's just going to go for the TP away, but gets hit by the stun from GH. So that is not a trade worth it. They just committed to be able to kill the Keeper of the Light. Oh, the stun lands. It still lands past the leap. The roll in is not going to be there, but GH might be able to have a kick up in a second. Not soon enough, though. Mushi is going to be able to get he back to the tower. Really Apparently, my control just wants to be able to get that bit of poison on the tier one. Yeah. Wanted to be able to transition that mid push into a top push, but Dragon Form going to end. And now it's Miracle. Going to be left up here just to farm to his own devices. And not much doing. Alchemist really trying to get to that armlet, finding whatever space that it can. Much better game than they had than that Arc Warden game. Yeah. Where he was their true one and he just couldn't really get anything online. This Alk is being much more successful than that. I like the way you're looking at this in the silver lining. It could be worse. It's not even that bad, honestly. Oh. Oh no, the arrow misses out. And GH holding on to the stun just to make sure they get the stun lock as long as possible. Mushi will end up going down underneath that tier one tower, a tower that is the last remaining tier one for Mineski. Yeah. I don't know if they're willing to uh, rotate up there to defend it and keep it alive. Ice 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 this time will miss out on the kill on Kuro. He's gotten so many of them before. Every single vendetta, it seems, is aimed towards the freebie on the Keeper of the Light, but this time it misses. This is a really nice game for that Nyx. Uh, even though he's missed one or two kills, he is 2-1. He's very good against the Keeper of the Light. Was one of the counters that we first saw. Let's back therapist. into the Static Storm. They caught Matumba Man. Now they just hope to be able to finish him off so he doesn't manage to get off any of his poison. And Snare locks him down a little bit longer. He's out of the silence, but Matumba Man doesn't have his ultimate. So he'll just throw out the Gale and will end up falling. Again, every single time Mineski get one of these kills, it takes three or four heroes. Liquid are always farming out in two other lanes. Yeah, that is the benefit of having these cores, is that somebody's always farming on the side of Liquid, and you can shut one of them down, but the other two will find oh, some look. room. Oh, look! Another, oh. another Keeper of the Light kill. Nyx is just mean? beasting on that right now. Okay, now this is going to get Nyx Assassin a lot of free kills, but couldn't it be said that these, these vendettas could be used to kill more important heroes on Liquid? Like who? I... Miracle's not an easy kill. He's a kill that you maybe get. It takes a lot of lockdown, which they don't quite have. And you'd have to devote another core to that cause. And if you don't get that kill, then it's like two minutes of free farm on the side of Liquid. Not the Venomancer either. E e either. The Even Venom's probably the easiest of the three targets. Yeah. But it's trying to corral all three cores. That's going to be what causes Mineski a lot of annoyance while trying to create space for their Alchemist to farm. Who is getting a lot of farm now? He's got a thousand gold up, the armlet completed, and once he gets that Radiance, this game becomes 
pretty annoying for Liquid to play. They don't have something like this Ancient Apparition. They do have heroes that can clear waves, though, and push in waves. That is the good side for them. And that's very important against Alk, having oh, heroes that can just shove. Ice, ice, ice. Yeah, run into that smoke. Liquid got nothing for it. Yeah. And he's even going to go curl. Done. Yeah, go for it. Ice, ice, ice. He does have that haste rune to make sure he gets out. He knows they don't really have stuns. Yeah, they wanted to be able to transition that smoke into this bottom push very naturally. It's going to come anyways, but during this time, Miracle going to get slept up. They do have the Disruptor ult too. We'll head over to that top shrine area where the Static Storm is controlling him. The Glimpse back. They're trying He's to lock trying him down to get with the Ensnare, but they just don't have the damage. With the Dragonite stun on Mushi, they lost all their physical damage, and now he has to go for the TP out. So a failed gank there might just turn into worse here if my Control can actually grab the real uh, Naga's Iron. I mean, he definitely found it. So that a kill will actually be given to Miracle. He not only doesn't die, he gets a kill on the way out. Just a free 215 gold and very smart of him. He hugs the edge of that corner as tight as he can. The Earth Spirit thankfully popped that shrine for him. Good heads up play by both of the Liquid members. They turn around getting the kill. They did <laughs> stop the bottom push as a result though. But yeah. Matumba Man here to finish what the Dragon Knight could not. They've Those are got only it too. two heroes down here. Maneski really don't want to just give this up for free. Nyx Assassin making the long trek down. Mind Control, but not the target that you want to run into. 1500 health and a hood. It's really Kuroki that you just want to keep finding if you can. Where's their sentries? They're gonna spot. Man, Invis heroes are so good against Liquid. <laughs> just because they just don't seem to buy and, much detection. Yeah, they maybe they'll get gif gifted a gem or something as. Oh, the silence goes down just before the Marana can make the leap away. Nice pickup by GH. Yeah, and the courier oh. gonna run straight past Nyx. Oh no. Doesn't get it, and his ulti's gonna run out, which is gonna mean full retreat for Maneski. As Miracle's gonna use this space, pick up his treads, and now his timing is very good. Immediately queuing up that Manta, no Vlads for him. And they're even hitting high ground a little bit. There's no way they keep going for this. Yes, there is. Elder Dragon form, gonna be popped. A lot of damage going out on this tower. This seems to just be the Liquid Special. Early tower pushes. If you don't come back, they'll just hit your tier threes. No team is like this. And that'll be a lot of time wasted. Now we know Bunch of Maneski members in that top right half of the map. And Liquid kind of do whatever they want. Looks like they'll take over that offlane jungle area. There's a very distinct difference from our usual invasion into the enemy's jungle. As you said, taking over that offlane jungle. Is there, is, like, what is the bigger advantage of taking out the offlane jungle as opposed to the regular jungle from an alchemist? Uh... It actually doesn't matter too much, but they wanted to be able to pressure this tier 3 early, I think, because they understand the kind of timer that they're on. This Mind Control making the trek along. Moonlight Shadow is going to be able to hide off. some of them. They're going to go for GH first. The Static Storm gets laid out, but Matumba Man's not caught in it, so he does manage to get out all of his poison. A big blast comes out for the Keeper of the Light, and Jabs will call the retreat. Pops that Song of Siren, but the, the, the poison, poison stink. is doing so much damage with the help of the wards onto the Nyx Assassin. Miracle's going to be able to have another blink, almost catches him. You can even see the Spike Carapace being popped. They do manage to kill that Naga Siren. And Nyx, he's still ticking out, but he popped a shrine, so he will manage to survive. 12 to 9, 5,000 gold lead, Keeper of the Light. And the rest of his homies on Team Liquid are destroying this game. And something I'd like to point out is if you just take a look at the Vision game, right now, Liquid. They're largely playing on their vision, playing around this area where they have their ward. And if you take a look at Maneski, they placed this ward up at top and the one near the top rune as well. And neither of them have really paid off for them. And so it's almost always about who can play better around their vision. And so far that's Liquid. That's why they feel so comfortable going for this tier three. Another tier two down. Mind Control and Matumba Man just seem to be an unstoppable pushing duo. Yeah, that Dragon Knight pick really working out for them. But of course, there's the ever-looming threat of this Alchemist. And this Nyx Assassin has done a lot of work. Gonna go for the Blink Dagger. His farm has been slowed down so much, by the way, Cap, because he's been coming to all these engagements yeah. and trying to get these failed pickoff attempts. And instead, he's just watching Liquid push. A Nyx Assassin against a pushing team sometimes feels pretty rough. And this game is no exception. Yeah. Because you're just watching people push, and if you can't burst somebody down, 
Your hero kind of loses its edge. It's like the bounty hunter that has to watch people five man. Yeah. As Liquid going for this early Roche. They've got the Solar Crest on the Venno. The Radiance is coming in for the Alchemist. Yeah, they too. need to take this fight. If Arrow's going to win. here, just a little bit sooner. They don't have the Naga Siren Sleep to be able to set up some sort of Static Storm initiation. Well, Ice Ice already finished the Keeper of the Light, though. Mineski really need to take They're this fight. They're so close. Mineski just need to get in there. But the Age is already picked up by oh, the enemy. Now mode. GH is actually going to make the initiation onto the Alchemist first. They're going to go for him. Never mind. They actually go for Ninja Boogie in the back line, hoping he will stop the Static Storm. But he managed to get out of there. Alchemist is staying alive bit by bit. Oh, they getting takes solo. down the damage over the time. One by one. Liquid just kind of divide up and take hero for hero. Miracle going to be able to get the bat line of both the Disruptor and that... Uh, Marana of Mushis, and he's even going to be pulled to extra farm. Bottom lane, it's all his now. Yeah, they really needed to get out there. As soon as they couldn't commit for that Aegis fight, full retreat should have been on the minds of everyone from Mineski. They felt like that Radiance timing, though, they absolutely needed to fight it before things got out of control. But unfortunately for them, they're going to get wiped. And Ice Ice Ice. <laughs> you think that's your area, but here? it's not. Barely survives. GH was so close to being able to get out of stun. Yeah, and there's a DD rune at bottom. Big question now is, when does Liquid decide that they are strong enough to go for the high ground push? Keeper of the Light, no money on him, but this Dragon Knight, really tanky, not the easiest person to take down for Mineski. This Venomancer, in a similar situation, has the Venom Wards, and with the Keeper of the Light Chakra Magic, he can place the double one down. Man, this is crazy, the combination of this push against Alchemist. Now they're just controlling bottom lane and not letting Alchemist go to that top half, which he could have farmed up. He's constantly having to be with his team to protect this. All right, here's the initiation. The sleep first into a kinetic field static storm, but all these heroes are split up, so instead they're just going to go for the arrow combination. Oh, he doesn't get it. Man, but he doesn't get the static storm off. Miracle managed to get that kill. The unstable concoction comes in from behind as Moon is here, but Liquid is just ignoring him for the time being, going and pushing Mineski back into their base. What a kick from GH, though, and a follow-up here from the enemy. Oh, blows up and gets a ton of AoE damage on the back line. Both oh, of no. Nyx Assassin and Naga Siren. This Mineski is be five. chased all the way to the phone and ultra kill for Miracle. Liquid. All five heroes down. They take the base so quickly. And with an anti-mage lineup, they're taking oh rest in 19 minutes. Oh my minutes. god. Diving fountain like that. MC is going to die instantly. Buys back. He's going to get recalled in at the last second. He senses that this game is over. Mineski. They're not calling it yet, but they're having to watch a lane of racks by 20 minutes. Possibly two here. Mineski are going to try for one more team fight, it seems. They are low enough level where they do respawn fast enough that I don't know if they can get the second set of racks, so they will play on. This is a minor. This does mean a lot. And snare in. Ice, ice, ice. Follows up. Managed to get the two man sub with a static storm, which wasn't used last fight. So here it is now There's with the stun. unstable concoction here as well. But it's just not doing enough damage. They don't have enough to be able to kill these heroes. Miracle actually comes back to finish up the Alchemist. Godlike already. Shrine pop for ice, ice, ice. But he's got no damage dealers. It's just the Mirana that's up. And she's watering oh, she in the side line. Where's she doing? Miracle. He's headed down to finish off the Mirana. And they oh, will be able to be finish game. off the other damage dealer. They're down for 40 seconds. Mineski. I love you guys. I'm sorry, but this is over. And a that spirited is it. run. That last game is going to haunt them. As yes, Liquid showed three. them how Anti Mage is done. And I was talking to Vlad here, and I said, man, they might actually be broken off that game. And he called it. He said, 20 minute game on my life. Wow. And that's exactly what happened. The most dominant game of this whole entire series. Liquid showing. It's really indisputable. TI they curse. are the number one team here. <laughs> no TI curse here, boys. No TI curse here. Team Liquid.